Hello, Tomatronic here, and welcome back to episode 34 of A Jedi's Tale here in RimWorld. Um, and before we get started, we have this poison ship to deal with, of course. The third one we've had to deal with so far. And we're on our way to building some defences up there. But before we get to that, I have just found a steel wall over here, which I'm going to claim and deconstruct. Give us a little bit of steel, which we don't have much of. There's also some compacted steel here, which I need to mine out as soon as possible. It's really going to help us out. Can't believe I didn't see it before. And <clears throat> another thing, I was looking online about what we can do with Lady. Now, as we know, she has a shattered spine and as far as I can tell from the things I read today, there's only two options about how we can fix that. One option is we need the, um, uh, what's it called, the the Healer Mech Potion, uh, Healer Mech Serum, um, which regenerates broken body parts. And there are some people saying that there's such thing as a bionic spine. But there's other people saying that it doesn't exist, so the only way I'm going to ever find out that is if I get to research bionics, which is a hell of a long way away. Uh, I always forget where it is exactly. Where is it? Bionics, where are you? Why can't I see you? How strange. Bionics, here, yeah. So from prosthetics and once I have microelectronics I need a multi-analyzer and fabrication and then so it's I mean it's I've got 6,000 14 and then another oh, it's just it's just way too way too far away so that option unfortunately is gonna take too long now if I didn't want to feed lady and use time and energy in keeping her alive there is the option to find a cryo I think they're called cryo uh, stasis chambers and the only place I could find them is possibly in here or there's one over here as well the problem with that is that there's normally dangers in there that I don't really want to see particularly right now um, not sure if we can fight off whatever's in there, but it could be an option. Um, and then I could put her on ice and just wait until um, I get this serum, which is only given out in quests very rarely. Um, and I've never seen it before, and only earlier on in this game for the first time I saw a Resurrector serum, which I've never seen before either, so that's how rare they are. So we don't have many options really, but there is um, something called Luciferian, which I've seen before, which can heal injuries such as brain trauma or, you know, brain injuries and serious injuries like that. But it doesn't regenerate limbs, obviously, or bones or eyeballs or anything like that. So, uh, and, and the other thing about Luciferian is that once they're on it, they're on it. And it's a really harsh addiction. And if they don't have a regular fix, they can die. So don't really want to get into a state where we're using things that we don't have much of at least um, so yeah because there's a few people for example let's have a look at our colonists here for example cook needs a new lung and I can replace the lung but I need to get a fresh lung and the only way I can do that is by harvesting it from somebody which I'm slightly tempted to harvest ladies' organs. I could get two lungs from her. I could get a heart um, and a brain and God knows what else, and I could keep it on ice. Um, the only problem with that is that harvesting organs of your colonists and prisoners even uh, gives a serious negative mood debuff to your colonists. So it's not the first option. I'd much rather buy organs, but as far as I'm aware, we haven't had any organ dealers come by and I'm guessing that's quite rare as well. So there's lots to think about at the moment. 
Um, we have a lot of options. We could wait for traders to come by and sell us the organs. We could also wait for a quest to get the healer serum uh, that we need to fix ladies back. We could go and find traders and buy organs. Um, and we could try and find these cryosphere, uh, cryo, cryostasis chambers uh, to freeze Lady in the meantime. Or we could then harvest Lady's body for organs, which I don't really want to do. The other option I thought of is to wait until we're raided again by humans and try as best we can to take them as prisoners. And then we could, all, or, then we could harvest their bodies uh, for organs. All of these things are difficult. They're all going to cause negatives to us. Um, but we need to, one way or another, get everybody back up to full strength. I was looking at everybody and there's not one colonist who hasn't got something bad going on. Fingers is missing a kidney. Uh, Doc's missing an eye and still has a shattered arm. I need to replace that soon. How is that arm getting on, by the way? Is there anything on there? Hmm. Do we have a prosthetic arm already or not? No. I'm sure I put one on there. Yeah, there is. Why is it at the bottom of the list? Ah, because we didn't have any. We didn't have any components, of course, but we do now. We have seventy. There. Oh no, we have one. I always look at the health points here and think it's the number, which is unfortunate. Um. Yeah. So I want to replace Doc's arm. Uh, yeah, I mean, everybody has some kind of scar, brain injury, or, or a missing organ, and it's not good. Uh, we've taken a, a hammering, that's for sure. But right now, the more pressing matters are Brian and Tank are bringing a new colonist back called Madam, who we're going to welcome with open arms because we need all the help we can get, to be quite frank. Then we're going to focus on building this defense up here and hope that this poison ship is manageable. It's never going to be easy. Um, mechanoids are never easy to kill, but I'm just hoping there are one or even zero uh, of those centipede things there. Let's take a look at where Brian is. Not too far away now. I'm tempted to speed things up until they get back, but they're moving pretty slow. The tank's not particularly fast anyway and they're carrying madam so you know they're gonna take a while our food dispenser is ready but it has no hoppers built so hopefully they'll get done soon along with this power conduit here what we really need is steel and sky what are you doing you're taking a simple meal where are you taking a simple meal sky I want to get you over here first to deconstruct this wall and then to start mining on this steel. Um, Maskinin, can you mine? Hmm, no, not really. I'm not particularly good at it. Okay, that's fine. Shu, I would like you, Shu, to come and start on this wall. Huh? Oh, yeah, okay. You're not assigned to construction, fine. I want you to come and mine some of this steel, and I'll get Sky, not assigned, not assigned to construction either. Um, okay, Sky, come and deconstruct this, please. So it's really all about finding as much steel now as we can, and getting our defenses built up. There's some more uranium there. Wow. Okay. Try not to forget that that's there. It's quite valuable, as I remember. There's another smaller room here, which I'm not sure what could be inside. We have some visitors. They have a few items to trade. Hopefully, it'll be steel or food. Who can I get to go and speak to them? We need somebody with a high social skill. Obviously not a lady. Yeah, Doc. I think it's going to have to be fingers. Hopefully they've got something we need. Chances are 
they'll just have nothing. Um, they don't look particularly menacing. They are tax inspectors as well, which is interesting. Let's see what they've got. Okay, so they've got three survival meals, not much. Three components, not much. And four medicine, which isn't much, I don't need to buy that. Uh, and they've got 500 Imperial credit. So, we are going to sell them all of our crappy weapons. That's only got 4%, it's only got 29%, 21%, 20%. Anything under 50% I think we sell. Um, and maybe sell anything that's poor as well, like the heavy revolver we don't really want, the auto pistol we don't really want, and the other one. Getting barely anything for these. And they've got... Wow, they've got a Muffalo Wool Jedi Guard Masterwork. Hmm, expensive. Don't think we can afford it right now. Uh, maybe we should sell a few more weapons just to... Ah, launch a pistol. I wonder where that is. I would like somebody to have that. Just so we can cause a bit more of a area effect damage when we're in firefights. I'm going to have to decide who to give that to and I'm going to have to locate it in the base, wherever it is. Um, maybe we sell... Maybe we sell blaster pistols then, and I'll get rid of that machine gun there, and the machine pistol. Yeah, I don't really like pistols too much, I much prefer using rifles. Okay, so we've got 191. Ooh. Okay, of course, I need to match it with Imperial Credit. Okay, no, still no. 139. Okay, fine, done, wow. Fingers, on your way back, can you harvest any of this yet? No, but you can haul some of that rice back. And then you can start harvesting that rice field, actually, thinking about it. Actually, I think I'm just going to let you unload that because it's probably your rest time. How is Shu getting on with the mining? Oh, okay, fair enough. Or was it Sky that was mining? Do I have anything in your pockets, Sky? I oh, got one chunk done. Thank you for doing that. Great. Fix it. Replacing broken components in the heater. Okay, good. And then fix it. I'm going to get you to work on the machining table. What are you taking to work on there? The prosthetic arm. Wonderful. And it's almost done. Excellent fix it. Now I can get Doc's arm replaced. Oh no, not yet because it's not been hauled yet. Okay, now I should be able to do it. Yes. And it's the left arm. Right, left, left, yes, okay, good. So hopefully, Fingers will be able to get that done as soon as possible, and we'll have Doc back up to full speed. One thing I also read is that having a clean research environment really helps the, uh, the speed of it, but the problem is it costs steel to build these sterile tiles. So I don't think I can do it right now. I can delete that prosthetic arm for now, and I'm going to keep disable uh, disassemble mechanoids on there, uh, just so fix it can keep going with the, the uh, components. Olaf, what are you up to? Cheering up, lady. Ah, oh, such a waste of time. I'd much rather you were cooking. Velasquez is cooking. Sky is sleeping. Masking him. What are you doing? Okay, cleaning, good. That's what I wanted you to do. But again, when we've got a dirty kitchen, I'm not sure if there's any way that you can restrict where they clean. I don't think there is. 
And, of course, they're dropping the meals where I don't want them. Hmm. I think I'll put the meal stockpile zones back. Let me just test it. Clear all. Just meals. Copy settings. Okay. Um, yeah, the problem being, that's just where they'll stay then. I wanted to avoid that. I just didn't want them to drop them there, by the sides, because that should be just raw food. So I really don't know what's going on there. Maybe, let's just see if Maskening can haul them away. Ah, okay, you can. Great. And you put them there because I just made that. Stupid. Okay, so I'll delete those. Didn't need those anyway. That was a complete waste of time. Maskening, please haul those meals to where they actually should be. Why did you just pick up all those weapons from there? Maskinin. How strange was that? Maskinin just picked up a load of weapons. Why? I'm going to have to follow her now, see what, see what she's doing. Where is she going? She's going to go and drop off the body there. Fine. Maybe she was moving the weapons that we sold? I'm not sure. How bizarre. I'm going to have to follow her. We have fires in the grave area, which is never good. Anywhere else? Yep, we have a fire down there. Of course we do. Can't get anything done without something happening. There's fires everywhere. I tend to just to make the whole map uh, my home area. And it might stop these fires getting out of control. Masking in. I'm not going to let you out of my sight until I see what you do with all those weapons. You've still got them, right? Okay, you put the meals there. Okay, you're just going to put them on people's shelves, aren't you? What a waste of time. Seriously? I guess that's because we sold all the ones that were on the shelves. And Maskinin decided that instead of refueling the generators, it was probably a better idea just to go around placing our weapons on people's shelves. Come on. Okay. Glad that is out of the way. Where is Sky? Okay, constructing. That's fine, I think. I do want somebody mining though. Fix it is doing what exactly? Okay, good. That's good. Creating components. We have two components there. Don't know whose blaster rifle that is. Ah, Cook. Wow, what happened to Cook? Fix it's starving. Okay, Fix, you don't have to work that hard. What happened to Cook? Food poisoning, of course, of course, of course, of course. I do remember. Okay, fine. I'm sure we can get through that. Boss has inspired recruitment. Um, but, of course, we don't have him around and we don't have anybody to recruit anyway. Boss and Tank are taking an awfully long time to get back. And this is why I don't like sending people out so much. It seems to take them ages to get back. And I guess it's because we're carrying a new recruit there. Velasquez, can you mine? What can you do, Velasquez? Not very good at mining, are you? Hmm. You're really only good at hunting and cooking. It's a shame. It's also a real shame that I didn't give Doc a passion for research, which apparently really speeds things up. Although she's really good at it on level 18, she doesn't have the, the flame uh, at 
that Velasquez has for actually smithing and tailoring and crafting, which is interesting considering how bad she is at them. So Doc is now awaiting the operation, fingers mentally preparing, in bed, asleep. Um, I'm sure she will get round to trying to fit that prosthetic arm in the morning. I really hope Doc gets through the surgery and it doesn't cause any problems, which it can do sometimes. Um, got nobody on handle. We should have. Shu should be doing it. Hmm. Nobody on warden because we don't need anybody on it right now. Okay, so Velasquez is going to cook away throughout the night as usual. Unfortunately, she is needing to go all the way to the fields to get the food she needs, which is ridiculous, really. Um, it's a shame we can't get Velasquez to haul. She can never haul. And I really need to get Fingers. The problem is Fingers has more than one job. Um, What's Cook doing now? Cooking. Okay. Cook is not that much faster. Even with the new prosthetic leg. Maybe it's because the left toe has been cut off. Um, maybe I could replace the foot of Cook there. Not sure. But I really want to get all of these berries at least hauled. Fingers is going to harvest these. Velasquez is still cooking. And we have a grizzly bear in the middle of the base, uh, which is quite worrying. If he decides to turn on one of us, at least we've got some turrets around. None of this is getting done, and the poison is gradually creeping up. It's almost now to the point where the other poison shit was. So we have about that's the same time that that took to get to here-ish uh, before we have to attack this. I'm just hoping we can get some defences done before then. Fix-It is building a lamp. Um, not quite sure why, but you know, I want to let Fix-It do what Fix-It thinks Fix-It should do. I am going to tell Shu, however, to come and mine here. Um, what is Tank? Ah, Tank's still not back, yeah. See, Tank is normally my double up miner. Uh, tank is almost back though, so hopefully soon we will be able to get what we need. What I could do is destroy some of these walls here that we don't really need so much. Maybe the double layer. I don't know. It's, it's good to have the defences, but. Recently, at least, we haven't been raided much, and I'm wondering whether it's because nobody is powerful enough to take us on, or everybody's died because we've killed them all, or we don't have anything worth stealing. Could be any one of those three options, I really do not know. Would like to get this done as well at some point. Is there any way of making certain things priority? I don't think there is. Fix it. Which lamp are you building? Ah, the ones in the TV room. Okay. I'm going to cancel the other two for now. Um, fix it is now going to haul steel to the wall. Okay, he's going to build that. I will cancel all of that as well for now. Fix it. Now what are you going to do? Sterile tile. Yeah, you know what? What I really need you to do is build these turrets. Shoo, mining away. Fantastic. Sky is hauling steel. No, don't want you to do that. I'm going to take Sky off construction. Go and mine, please. Digging up the compacted steel. Fantastic. Exactly what I want. Shoe, no. Don't want you milking no boomerlope right now. I think we've got enough power. Yeah, we've got enough chem fuel for now. We don't need to be milking boomerlope right this second. Maybe Cook, you could get on with some butchering. Because we don't have any uh, fresh food, really, in the freezer. Now we do have some meat. Where is it? Or is it down here? In this room that's not cold. Why is it not cold, this room? 
put those down to minus eight. Should be at a minus this room and it's plus four degrees, which is worrying. It means everything that's here is gonna spoil. Maybe I need to build another cooler in there, which again is more components and more resources, more steel. And it's really the story of today. Never have enough steel and we never have enough components. And we rarely have enough food. But yes, awesome. At least for now, the steel chunks have been put next to the smelting station, which is exactly what I wanted. Telling them to drop the steel on the floor after they've made it. The problem is, it's normally fix it that does our crafting, and fix it is busy building turrets, which is great. It's exactly what I want. The problem is, all the steel we have is right over here on the other side of the base. Which is going to take a while for Fix-It to get there and get back. Almost got this hay grass grown, finally. Which means, again, we can stock up our animal storage and get them out of our base, but... The reality is we don't have enough hay grass on the grow... Um, ...to feed our animals. And I would like to, very quickly, after I do this microelectronics, I might do hydroponics here. Just get it out of the way. I never really use hydroponics um, in RimWorld, at least. And, you know, I'm going to give it a go. Maybe I can grow crops much faster. Maybe I can really get myself out of this situation. And maybe I look really stupid for not doing it a bit sooner. Um, but I'm going to give it a go, at least. Cook doesn't have a weapon for some reason. It's fine for now, I guess. Anybody else without a weapon? Olaf doesn't have a weapon. He does have a steel, uh, a shield belt, which I don't really want him to have. Drop that, please. And then go and take a blaster rifle, Olaf. Velasquez is fine. Sky doesn't have a weapon either. But I'm going to let Sky continue digging at that steel. And when she comes back to base later on, I'll make sure that she gets it. Ooh! The caravan has arrived home, finally. Let's have a look at Madam and decide what she's going to do. Not bad at medical and not bad at growing. So, primarily, let's have her on Doctor. She can't firefight. Okay, fine. Let's have her on Doctor. Growing. Plant cutting. And cleaning hauling so she's primarily if there's nobody to heal then she will go to the farms and help fingers and if all that's done which it never is then she can I'm just gonna yeah then she can haul and clean fine good uh, she can fight which is wonderful not very good at it but it means we can give her a gun she's another pair of hands at least and it's nice to have tank and Brian back in the colony I am going to set Madam's daily schedule, same as everybody else's, and we hope that she settles in soon. She's 46, she's a bit older than the rest of us, um, she's actually 108 in real years, which means for a good half of her existence she's been in cryostasis, not sure about that story, but maybe we'll find out one day. Losing a lot of trees and bushes and wildlife to this godforsaken poisonous ship. I really hope this is the last one we see for a while. Slightly unfair, we've had three of those. I would much prefer a human raid, I'd take that any day. Although, I say that now until it happens and then I will maybe regret. At least with the poison ship you can prepare for it. Raids tend to come out of nowhere. And that's not to say we'll get raided before we actually attack it anyway. Um, the hay grass is almost done there. I'm going to build another hay grass here. Even though I can't build a complete 
field is better than nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna disable the hops for now, which I didn't realize you could do until literally just this second. Anything that's not food, I can disable until we need it. The coca tree has a few growing, but I think they take a long time. Yeah. So for now, we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave that. Okay. Eight o'clock. Everyone's gonna start going to bed soon. Um, hopefully Madam can have some time around the table with at least a few of the colonists to share a simple meal. That's all we can offer right now, I'm afraid, Madam. Uh, you've come at a bad time, really, where we're trying to get back on top of things. We have finally sorted out the meal cooking situation, I think. So, what I'm gonna do is put fine meals back on, I think. I'm gonna prioritize them and do that on all of them. Um, I think it will go a long way to cheering us up a little bit and as we have ample food coming in now um, we can afford to waste a little bit more resources on cheering us up. Cook, what are you up to? Butchering still. I think I'm going to clear that now and let you go back to doing what you want to do. I don't know why you'd be wearing a shield belt, Cook. Um, I'm going to get you to come and get that gun now that you're free of chores. Um, fingers relaxing. Really, I would like you to come and haul the rest of these berries. Fix it is building sandbags where exactly? Good, excellent. Fix it's finally getting with the program. Doc's still waiting there. Um, ah, because fingers. Ah, crap. Fingers is not assigned to doctoring, which is why fingers hasn't attempted the surgery yet. So that's going to have to wait until tomorrow, which unfortunately means that Doc is out of action again for another day, another night. Olaf visiting Natalia's corpse there. Very solemn moment. In what can be quite a hilarious game. Well, before I forget, I just want to clear the home zones again. Now, make sure I don't mess this up. Just where the fires were, make sure that they were out, and then we can get rid of this. There are some traps around here, I believe. Yeah, there's a few there that I'm going to keep my eye on. I think those traps are quite a good idea. What I could do is build some around here, but the mechanoids don't tend to move too much. Only the scythers, so... Actually, that's not a bad idea. Let me just clear the rest of these home areas away. And I think there's some traps there as well actually, no? Yeah. Alright. Um, so, let's consider that if there's any Scythers at least, they are going to come running at us. We could build the traps out of Plasteel. Or even Uranium. I'm not sure what the difference would make. Um, but for now, I think we can lay down a, a fair amount of these wooden traps. And it's not just going to help us against the mechanoids, it's going to help us against anybody who comes and knock in. They're much faster to build and we have loads of wood, so why not use it? Ooh, trader! Awesome. Let's send boss down there to trade. ASAP please boss. Wow, boss's shooting skill is incredible right now. What are these alpacas doing? I think they're with the, the trading post people. Please have steel. Yeah! 
265 steel. We want that. Wow, it's expensive. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. What else have you got? 10 chocolate, we'll take it. Um, gazelle meat, I guess. Okay. Chem fuel we don't really need to buy. Components we really need to buy. Wow, this is going to be expensive. Um, cloth we don't need. Imperial credit we don't need. Ah, oh, they've got some good clothes. But we can't afford it. And that's it. Unfortunately, they won't accept gold. Um... So let's see what they we can sell them. We can get rid of the rest of this insect meat because we don't really like it. it doesn't really do much though. Um, we can sell not much, unfortunately. We can sell all of the leather. Oh, I don't know. It's good to have some leather. Get rid of the dog leather. Maybe the light leather. Really not helping us. Um, got a lot of blue fur, so minus 200 blue fur. It's not that expensive though. Panther fur is, however. We can sell all of that. Don't really want panther fur. Wolf skin we can also sell. And that is about it, unfortunately. And we don't have that kind of money. So cancel the chocolate, cancel the meat, we really need those components, and we really need the steel. What else can we sell? It's a shame they don't want to buy anything else. We could sell some of this plain leather maybe, 100. We can always get more. But it's not helping, it's really not helping our total up there. Hmm. Maybe we're going to have to just not buy as much steel. We are basically leaving ourselves with no silver right now. But I think it's worth it to be able to get this steel. Maybe we just can't buy as much as we want. Maybe we can't buy as many components as we want. Because that actually, wow, the components are the most expensive thing. Maybe we just buy 20 components and then get all the steel. And this leaves us basically with zero silver, more or less. Um, and much less meat, because we have this insect meat. But I think it's going to be worth it. Brian makes an executive decision there. Goes ahead and makes the trade. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. You know what we could do is just attack them and steal it, but I don't think they have enough for us to steal to make it worth our while. It's not going to be an easy fight by any chance. Luckily all the steel is right here next to where Fix-It needs it. Awesome, so finally getting these built. And if you could actually start working on them Fix-It that would be wonderful as well. Where are you going? Okay, you're going to go and eat. Are you taking steel to the stockpile? We don't really need you to do that. I would much prefer that you started working on something. But okay, another day, another night. Let's fast forward it while Velasquez cooks away. Fix it's probably going to eat and go to the bed. Oh, it's morning already. Wow, that was quick. Well, Madam rests up. What the hell are you doing? Madam resting up there after her rescue. Hopefully she'll serve us well. She's a herbalist. Pretty good at growing and not bad at doctoring either. Uh, Doc is going to watch some TV and wait for Fingers to get up. And I'm hoping as soon as Fingers wakes up today, she is going to attempt to replace Doc's arm with a prosthetic, which I'm hoping will help Doc's research speed. Do we have any more mechanoids uh, to dismantle? I don't think we do. And they are a good source of components, so 
maybe. It will be good in the end to take out this poisonous ship. That's if we survive it, of course. Fix it, building power conduit, where exactly? Okay, good. That's what I want. Excellent. Good job, fix it. Amazing work. Getting some sandbags done. Wow, just really going for it down there. You might think it's a bit excessive, all these power cables, but the problem with the power cables are, where are you going? Oh, there's some components there, just randomly lying there. Yeah, the problem with the power cables is, as soon as one turret blows up, it destroys all the cables around it. So if they're all linked up by one cable, then quite quickly you find out that, you know, they're going to all explode and it's not a good situation to be in because you have loads of unusable turrets and they just get destroyed and it's a waste of resources, basically. So, what's that? Silver? What's all that silver doing there? Sky, what are you doing? Digging into there, are you? Hmm. Go and haul that silver, please. And is all that steel gone at the top? Already? No, there's still more there. Come on, Sky. Don't want you training. Shoot, I want you mining ass. Maybe I'll put Madam on handling. She's pretty good with animals. And it will give it will free um, shoe up to just continually mine, which is exactly what I want. Kind of missing that structure there. Took me a bit of brain power to work out how to build it. Uh, and I will build it back at some point. As soon as I've got the horrible poison ship out of the way. Hops I'm going to set to... Uh, not allow sowing for now. And luckily some of this hay grass is getting cut. Which is wonderful. Fingers. Would you attempt, please... Um, docks operation or not? No? Can't make you do that? Okay, we're getting sieged. A group of pirates from the Ashlands as well. Wow, there's a lot of them. Again, the problem with sieges is they always set up a little base and they always set up a mortar or two. And a mortar right now could be devastating for us. So we're going to have to take the fight to them, I think. Fix it. You've done your best here. Can you work on these power conduits here and try and at least get this power hooked up so we have some turret support? No? Where are you getting steel from now? Too far away, basically. These guys are going to build up a little camp soon, somewhere, not sure where. Here we go. Okay, and they're getting their mortars set up. Let me just see if I can see how many shells they've got. They've got ten incendiary shells there. And, an, and twelve there, wow. Okay, I think we need to rush them. The problem is they're too far away for anything. We could get on our mortars, however, which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to get Tank to come and man this mortar here. Tank, you're miles away, man, woman. Use force speed and get on this man on this mortar here. Who else can I get on a mortar that is fast enough to get there in time? Fix it, no. Maybe Madam? No, she's healing. I'm going to let her carry on. Olaf. I'm going to get Olaf on the other mortar. And at least see if I can take out a few of them. Hopefully, maybe I can destroy that before they get it built, which would be nice. I doubt it, though. Because mortars can really mess us up. Now, if I put a forced target of here, right in the middle of them... I want to be able to get both of their mortars. Wow, their mortar's nearly built. Good shot, tank. Wow. 
Amazing shot. It destroyed both their mortars, I think. Incredible. And it's forced them to attack us. Now, I'm going to leave Tank on there. No, maybe not. I'm going to get Tank off, I think. Olaf as well. And I'm just going to line them up, nice and cosy here, either side, because as they run through, they're going to get shot by turrets, if they can even get through, that is. Don't think I've got anybody else outside of the base right now. I'm going to get Boss, um, Cook, Fingers, Doc, Shu, Olaf, Velasquez to get down here. Ah, damn it. I just lost all that. Okay. Fingers tank, dock. Fix it, shoe. Olaf, Velasquez, and Sky. Get down here, people. Ah. Oh my god, what am I doing? Let's get everybody down. The, cra the trade caravan is leaving, which is a shame. I would have liked them to have stuck around at least until the raid had, had finished, because maybe some of them would have been killed in the process, and we would have got some free stuff, so, which is always good. But we have two broken through already. Now, Tank doesn't have a bloody weapon, and doesn't have any force powers. Fantastic, Tank. Bravo. Please run and get a lightsaber. The nearest one possible, which is there. Olaf, unfortunately, is on his own. Ah, Velasquez quickly there, and so is Brian. Wires didn't realise there was turrets behind those sandbags. And he's trying to beat on one of my turrets now, which is annoying. Wow! Normal went down. Easy. Unconscious, even. See, this is what we could really do with Tank. Because Mila is coming in fast here. Whoa! Did they get their mortars back? Where did that explosion come from? Maybe one of them's got one of those explosive pistols. No. No. Where did that explosion come from? Really don't know. Or maybe it was one of those pop shield belt things. Well, both our turrets have been taken out, but they did their job. They draw they drew fire away from us for a while. I wanna try force drain on hand. Boss, I'm going to use Force Light. No, oh, no, he can't. Force Drain on Everett there. Doc, I'm going to get the Force Ghost out. The Force Ghost didn't work for some reason, which is really annoying when it does that. I think it's because if there's a wall in the way, it doesn't work, which is super annoying. We are getting a little bit mashed up here. Cook. Um, who's actually injured? Nobody right now. Okay, fine. Alright, who needs... Yeah, Velasquez. Heal Velasquez. Cook, please. Boss is getting shot from a long way away. Wow. Snuck up on Boss. That is rare. You're going to get some Force Lightning. Everybody okay? Velasquez needs treatment. Sky doesn't have a weapon, of course. Of course you don't, Sky. Go and get that blaster rifle, please. Cook is doing his best, but he's being beaten up there. These guys have some pretty good armor. Protective gear. A heavy non-powered as wow, okay. Nice. We could do with that. The problem is it will be tainted. 
Um, I really need to get this guy killed. I don't know why they're not attacking him. Ah, it's because this guy's here. Okay, of course. He's down now. Fine. Remember, guys, we would like some prisoners, if possible. Fingers, can you take out that idiot there? Olaf, you can take out that idiot there. Okay, they're fleeing. Awesome. Didn't take us long. Um, Cook, you can go back to doing what you're doing. Sky, you can go back to doing what you're doing, but I still want you to pick up that gun. Hopefully, I can catch some of these guys. Where is Tank? Tank is going to use... F no, Tank is not going to use force speed. I don't think Tank is quick enough to catch anybody. I'm going to move these two down. I'm going to get Boss down. I'm going to get Velasquez to capture Manning. And then go and heal. I'm going to use Doc to heal Velasquez. And we would really like to take out these two here and get their army if we can. Shoo. Get here. Okay, that's one down. Awesome. He got away, unfortunately. Somebody must have four speed, though. Doc does. Get there, Doc. Even with a prosthetic leg, Doc is super quick. Hopefully he can take out this remaining guy. There we go. Awesome. Right. Strip him. Okay. So, survived a raid there. Pretty tough one. We have got Norma, still alive. Not a good bio at all. Not really interested in that. Uh, who else is alive here? Daniel, Sheriff. Pretty good stats. Wouldn't mind recruiting you, Daniel. Who else have we got? Pussycat, the miner. Um, your stats aren't bad either. Not amazing. What I am going to do though, is strip you two while you're still alive, so that the clothes won't be counted as tainted, if you do eventually die. And you do have some pretty nice clothes on there guys, so I'm sorry about that. Everybody else is dead I think. Yeah, Everest died. You can all go back to doing what you were doing. Tank. Can you please strip these two here? Okay, um, and then you can just do what you want. What I will ask you to do though is haul some of the dead bodies out pretty quick. I'm just going to let you eat quickly in the pile of rotting bodies, which is lovely. Um, just because I want to get as many dead bodies out of the way as soon as possible. Pretty grim in this weather to be able to do anything, but I'm happy that we survived the raid. We did, however, uh, mess up our turret system here. The power's completely gone. So we need to get that rebuilt as soon as possible. Another power conduit there. And I would really now like to bring this one down. But I don't want to bring it through there. I want to kind of bring it around if possible. At least... Yeah, at least like that. Problem is this area is always going to be taking a lot of punishment. Um, and let's get the rest of these guys... Re uh, captured. So we'll capture Daniel, I'll get Fingers to capture Pussycat, I'll get Madam, who's on her feet for the first time, who's tending to Manning, why? Come and capture Norma. Velasquez, you can go about your chores. And I think what we're going to do is harvest some of these prisoners. The ones that we're not keen on recruiting, like... See, these two are pretty good. But I don't think Norma, yeah, with those kind of stats, maybe we can... Ouch. No pulse. Okay. We need to get you rescued pretty quick then, don't we? Ah, she died. Okay, fine. 
Oh well. Then, in that case, we only have two. And I would like to recruit both of them, if possible. So, maybe... What are you wearing? Marine armor. Ah, oh, I wish I'd got you before you died. God damn it. Come and strip him, please, tank. We need that armor. Don't know whether it's better to have people in uh, tattered clothes or tainted clothes. Not sure how that works. What I do need to do is get enough clothes and armor for everybody. Eventually, it's just going to take me a very long time. I'm going to get masking in to clean the kitchen because it's looking disgusting. And the problem now is that this is outside. Oh no, still not classed as outside. Good, because that hasn't been started. Excellent. Um, and I think tomorrow is going to be more of the same. Building up the defenses. Trying our best to manage everything else that's going on. We lost a boomerlope during that fight, which I completely missed. Okay, not quite sure why, but... Cook is on an insulting spree. Going around insulting people, including Madam, who's new to our, our, our base, which is not good. Madam, you better not be performing surgery. Somebody did, though. And it worked. Now Doc has a prosthetic arm and a prosthetic leg. But who did it? Wow, cracked rib cage for Cook. Anybody else really badly injured from that? Would like to get Olaf's peg leg replaced for a, a real prosthetic leg eventually. But that's awesome. I'm not sure if it was Madam. Not sure if it was Fingers. Not sure who it was that did it, but somebody replaced Doc's arm without me realizing. Which is extremely strange. Uh oh, somebody has an infection. Daniel, one of the prisoners. Doc's tending to him. And Manning has also got an infection. I am tempted. How is Manning's stats? Let's have a look at Manning. See, your stats are pretty crappy. I am going to harvest you for organs. And I need, I think I need, who is it that needs a lung? Is it Doc? No. Somebody needs a lung. Fingers needs a kidney, a left kidney. And Cook needs a right lung. Could take the right lung. And the left kidney. Maybe we can keep Manning alive doing that. Maybe not. But don't really care. Not really into recruiting Manning. And the way we are now is, as Brian explains to everybody, we need what we need. And that is the bottom line. If it's for the colony, the good of the colony that is, we're going to do it. Regardless of the emotional cost, perhaps, that it takes on us. Smoking some smoke leaf there, Velasquez. Do you have any armor? Flak armor? 7%. Wouldn't you like to wear this awesome protective gear here? Which is not rotting away. 88, awesome. Still wearing tattered clothes though. But at least now with a decent set of armor. Madam, if you're in the mood, would you mind hauling some of these bodies away? It would be nice to get them out, and you're the last one in to the colony. Sometimes you're going to get stuck with the bad jobs. I hope you realize that. Why has this suddenly become the smoke leaf place? Doc now, smoking some smoke leaf down here. Unfortunately, every time they do it, they run past these dead bodies, and it just completely destroys their mood, so... Don't really see the point in that. They've been buried now. Excellent. Madam, would you get another one? Nice fat one there that you can take. And then while you're there, madam... Oh no, hang on. I'm just going to let you bury that first. And then I'm going to get you to force wear that marine armor. Just because I want to see the effect of tainted armor. Doesn't 
doesn't say tainted. Oh yeah, tainted from being worn by a corpse. Uh, so let's see the tainted marine mark minus five. Hmm. And what does tattered clothing give you? Let's check. Fingers, for example. Ratty is minus three. Okay, so it's better not to wear tainted clothing. Interesting. Okay, well at least we know it. Masculine, you can put that back on, because that's quite good. That you can wear. Ooh, I forgot about all that. All the stuff left behind. Wow, there's loads of steel components and and food and shells and lovely stuff. Awesome. Forgot about all that stuff. Everybody. Whole ass. I'm serious, everybody. Including madam, you can haul as well. We need to get all that stif stuff taken away as soon as possible. Wow, look at all that steel as well. And we can deconstruct all these sandbags. Wonderful. Who's starving? Lady. Wonder why. Somebody doesn't have time to get that done. Sky again, critical break. Seems to always be the case with Sky, even though you have more wreck time than anybody. I'll give you one more hour. See if that does anything. And this is turning into... Wow, Berserker. Okay, this is turning into be an extremely long episode, but... I just feel like sometimes... I need to keep going and get stuff done, and then we got raided... Or sieged, sorry. And then the rest of it has just been cleaning up after the siege. So... Ah, oh, we, we have Scythers still. Nice. We need to get that. I need to get that dis disassembled as soon as possible. So yeah, so I'm sorry if this episode is slightly longer than usual. Um, it's only because I get carried away. And I want to make it a complete experience in a way. What's that next to... That's an animal sleeping spot. Not in the hospital, really. Come on, guys. Manning's out. Um, and what I really want to do is... Oh, I can't, why can't I arrest Manning? Ah, oh, okay. Capture Manning again. Please, fingers. Because it's going to have to be in a different room. Still, not going to get away with not being operated on. The decision has been made. We're going to harvest Manning for her, her organs. Pussycat is a man. And so is Daniel. Might be nice to have a few more boys around the colony. I've been extremely female dominated uh, since the beginning. What's Maskinin doing? Hauling to grave, great. But please come and clean the hospital. Because it's a bloody state. And so is the kitchen, I presume, yeah. Maskinin, you're going back on cleaning duty. For now. No hauling for you. I'll just let you haul that last body, because it's nice to get rid of them. But after that, you're done. No more digging. And you're not really going to clean there, surely, when the, clean, when the kitchen is in absolute state. Sky, still without a weapon, for some reason. I'm going to make him drop that shield belt. Um, I'm going to pick up a gun. And a witch gun, though. Let's go for a blaster carbine. Hopefully now... Oh, we've got a Peace Talks quest. Okay, not really interested. Sorry, I don't really want to make peace with anybody right now. Um, yeah, hopefully when we've hauled all that... All these components and all this steel, we will be able to work a little bit more. What is that there? Is that wood? Various. 46. What does that mean? Anyway, yeah. Once we've hauled all that back to base, hopefully... Who's Bubba? We'll be able to get... Hopefully we'll be able to get back on to 
getting some of this building done and then getting this ship sorted out because as usual the poisonous ring grows it's not going anywhere and we need to deal with it the problem is we don't have the resources as usual but we are getting them slowly a lot of cloth building up here in the fields which is great it's amazing how you can grow a cotton plant and harvest it into cloth without having to make the cloth a bit strange but i think for now as it's been a rather long episode anyway um i think i'm gonna have to call it the end there and we're gonna catch up with the began in the morning and see if we can go about recruiting some of these prisoners and harvesting some of Manning's body parts to use for ourselves. So, thanks very much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you again very soon in the next episode. Bye bye.